Tonight, police were called to Swarthmore College after a number of students staged a sit in inside and outside of the president's office. They won a number of things, including a permanent ban of two fraternities after video surfaced, which allegedly showed frat members making racist remarks and joking about rape. Our Kimberly Davis joins us now with information on what students claimed happened during their peaceful protest. Kimberly? Well, Yuki, those 10 students planned on staying inside of the president's office until their demands were met. But protesters tell us those plans quickly changed once they were denied food, water, and access to a bathroom. And everyone dispersed once the police were called. Keep reading, leave now. We need to leave now. We're leaving because of threats of arrest. We've heard about them through our phones, and we are leaving the building now. The original plan was to stay inside the Swarthmore College President's office until their demands were met. Permanently and formally terminate the leases of Phi Psi and Delta Upsilon fraternities and turn the frat houses into safe and dry places for students. Ten students were inside of Dr. Valerie Smith's office and 50 more were outside in the hallway. In a letter from Dr. Smith, she described the refusal to leave her office as a serious safety concern and that the students were in clear violation of college policies. Students told me this sit-in is a result of controversy surrounding the two fraternities. Both fraternities voted to disband over images and video that appear to show former members making racist remarks and joking about rape. Students who were inside protesting but left after police were called described the seen to us. Everyone's freaking out because there's a lot of vulnerable students in the protests, in the hallways, and so they were like, if you guys are vulnerable, you need to leave. And so you just hear a bunch of students like running, they're leaving their stuff in the hallways. Now, before the police were called, Dr. Smith agreed to speak and meet with those students after they vacated her office. No word yet on if or when that meeting is happening. For now, we are live on the campus of Smothmore College. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3.